Hello everyone, welcome back to the College Review Series by Akash. So today we are going to review the IIT which has a rich legacy as a pioneer in the field of mining engineering and applied sciences. Yes, you have guessed it right, I'm talking about IIT Dhanbad. So let's explore IIT Dhanbad and know everything about this IIT, about its campus, courses, placements, cutoff, fee structure and a lot more. The Indian Institute of Technology, Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad, commonly known as IIT ISM Dhanbad, was established in the year 1926 as Indian School of Mines to cater the needs of mining and mineral industry in India. Modelled after the Royal School of Mines, London, it initially started with the disciplines such as mining and applied geology. In 2016, ISM was upgraded to an Indian Institute of Technology, becoming and IIT ISM Dhanbad. So talking about its ranking, then the IIT has been ranked 15th in the engineering category, 22nd in the research category and 35th in the overall category by NIRF 2024. So if we talk about its campus, then the institute is situated 3 kilometers north of Dhanbad railway station on Grand Code of Eastern Railways. The IIT is spread over an area of 200 acres and is characterized by a mix of modern and colonial architecture. The campus includes all the basic facilities such as hostels. The institute has 11 hostels, 4 for girls and the remaining 7 for boys. Both include one hostel each for international students. Then there are various academic buildings, recreational facilities, student activity center, canteen, library, auditorium, sports facilities, well-equipped laboratories and lecture halls. Talking about the academics, then the IIT offers a diverse range of academic programs in various disciplines. The institute provides undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral programs in engineering, sciences and management. Here is a long list of engineering programs offered at undergraduate level that is for the BTEC students. It also offers a 5-year integrated MTech in Applied Geology, Applied Geophysics and Mathematics and Computing. So in order to get admission in one of these BTEC courses, the candidates first of all need to pass class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their core subjects. 75% is the required aggregate for general category of the students and 65 is the required aggregate for STSE and PWD candidate. Further, the students need to clear J advance to be eligible for the admission process. And to be eligible for that, you will first have to clear J main paper 1. So this condition is not applicable for the foreign nationals as they can register themselves straight away for J advance. Thereafter, you register yourself for JOSA counseling based on the mark secured in J advance. Foreign nationals are accepted through DASA, Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR schemes. Now let's have a look at the fee structure. So here is the consolidated fee structure for the BTEC program. So the students need to pay first of all one-time charges 13,400 then other annual charges that is for 10,468 other semester charges 4100 in for the summer semester and 8400 for the winter semesters then semester tuition fee which is 1 lakh rupee so the total fee payable for the first semester is going to be 1 lakh 32268 and for odd semester it's going to be 1 lakh 18868 for even semester it's going to be 1 lakh 8400 so all in all your 4 years of btech course from iit dhanbad would cost you between 9 to 10 lakhs approximately so here are some of the scholarship schemes that are offered by the iit merit cum mean scholarship endowment scholarship benevolent fund ismana scholarship and sandwich scholarship 
For more details on IIT Dhanbad scholarships, do visit the official website. The link is given in the description. Now let's talk about IIT ISM Dhanbad placements. So the IIT ISM Dhanbad has achieved a milestone in securing placements with 750 students securing placements in the academic year 2024-25. This placement record is still 7 February 2024 as the placements were still on after that. So the average package reached up to 13.13 lakh rupees whereas the highest package offered was 60 lakh rupees making it the overall placement percentage as 76.36 percentage. Here is the branch wise placement percent in the various branches with the highest placement percentage as 93.33 percent in the petroleum engineering being at the top and 86.58 percent in the computer science and engineering branch with 47.83% being the lowest placement percentage in engineering physics. Major companies offering job offers include Google, Microsoft, Accenture, Tata Steel, Tata Motors, Jaguar Motors and many more. Now let's have a look at the J Advance rank cutoff for the year 2024-25. Here is the branch wise J rank cut off after fifth round of JOSA counseling. You can use this data as reference for your choice filling during the counseling process. For applied geology, the rank cut off for gender neutral started at 13,369 and closed at 16,011. For the female only category, the rank started and closed at 24,275. For applied geophysics, for gender neutral candidates, the opening rank stood at 15,220 and the closing rank was 15,591. For the female only category, the rank started and closed at 25,416. For chemical engineering branch, the opening rank was 7,882 and closing was 11,398 for general neutral category and for female only category, the same started at 16,313 and closed at 19,432. Talking about the computer science and engineering branch, the rank for general neutral category closed at 3,846 and for female only category, the same closed at 8,682. For civil engineering branch, the rank for the general neutral branch closed at 12,996 and for the female only category, the same closed at 23,485. For more information on IIT ISM Dhanbad Cutoff 2024 or for the category wise cutoff do visit the link given in the description now let's have a look at the fest and the events conducted here at iit ism dhanbad as round the year quite a few festivals do take place here as well the institute hosts many fests including srijan the cultural fest concerto the tech fest parakaram the games and sports fest Basant, the alumni reunion. Pratibim, the interdepartmental cultural fest. Alright, so who else is the better one to tell you more about the institute? The students and the alumni, those who are studying or have studied from the institute. So let's find out what do the students have to say about their IIT ISM Dhanbad in the students review section. The Earth Science Departments at IIT ISM Dhanbad compete with the world's best universities. In mining and mineral engineering, it ranked 24th in the world. Students can work with faculty on research projects offered every semester. Since the college is about 100 years old, some buildings require renovation. IIT ISM Dhanbad campus is quite good, no outside interference is allowed. The IIT has a lush green campus with greenery all around. Decent placements and internship opportunities. It feels great to study in India's one of the oldest and biggest colleges. Great culture, awesome senior and junior bond. For some of the reviews given by the students on various trusted websites. Alright, so while comparing IIT ISM Dhanbad with other IITs, do consider its unique strengths that makes it stand out from other IITs. Like it has an unbeatable recognition in its core fields such as petroleum engineering, mining and geology. These fields are globally recognized and set this IIT apart from other IITs. Moreover, the institute is doing well and growing in other fields also such as computer science and engineering and data science, attracting top recruiters. However, if you talk about its location, 
Being located in Dhanbad, the IIT certainly misses out on the urban vibe of the IITs in cities such as IIT Delhi and Mumbai. So if your interest aligns well with the core fields offered here at the IIT and you prefer a peaceful academic environment, then IIT ISM Dhanbad is certainly going to be an excellent choice for you. So your job starts where mine ends as this was all from me today. So do let me know in the comment section which other IIT do you want me to review next. And yes, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.